Hey everyone, it's Lady Kaka 101, and today I got the Disney Store Disney Princess Animator Collection Ariel doll, and she is so adorable. I am so glad I got her. Um, so the Disney Store, I went there. Well, like I wasn't really planning on going there, but I was at the mall where it is, and I thought, why not check it out? Cause I like to check out the Disney Store. It's like one of my favorite stores, and they had a bunch of stuff on sale, but I didn't really like pay attention to that. What I really paid attention to was the big sign on the window that said all animator dolls were $17 and the original price for the animator dolls are $26.95 in Canada and that's quite expensive. I'm not really willing to pay $30 for a doll like this even though like it's pretty well detailed. I just I don't think it's like I don't know I just don't really want to pay that much but I think $17 is an amazing price and of course I got Ariel because she's my favorite princess and if you guys are wondering why I'm getting quite a few Ariels recently it is because I recently I don't know why but I just really wanted to start a Little Mermaid collection I've wanted to in the past but I just haven't really got the time and or the money for it and now that I'm in a new house with a lot more space I think that I could like have a little shelf or table area dedicated to The Little Mermaid and I think it'd be fun because I've always wanted to do one. I've wanted to do one since like 2012 and I've gotten a few aerial things since then but not as much and I've seen videos on YouTube of people's Little Mermaid collections that I'm so jealous and I think it'd be fun so I'm gonna try it out and to start it out I got the animator doll. So down here is a little sketch of little toddler Ariel, because these dolls are obviously toddlers and not their teenager selves. It says Disney Animated Collection Ariel, warning. And then it says Disney Store 3 Plus. And there's some beautiful sketches of toddler Ariel on the sides. Beautiful animation. I really like seeing the progress of the characters, like the character designs. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's really fascinating. So there's some more on the other side. And then the back, there's some more. And it says Disney Animated Collection. There's Glenn Keane, who does the animation for several princesses, which it states here, and I'll read that. Celebrating the heritage of classic Disney animation, these young renditions of your favorite Disney princess were imagined by and created under the guidance of Walt Disney Animation Studios, most re-owned animators, bringing the characters to life in the most authentic way possible. A 36-year veteran of Walt Disney Animation Studios, Glenn Keane is most noted for animating some of the most beloved and enduring Disney characters. Keane trains with some of the with some of Walt Disney's most legendary animators who brought to life classic characters such as Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Through the course of his career, Keane has worked on many animated masterpieces and was led to led animate animator, sorry, for the title characters from Aladdin and Beauty and the Beast. Keane animated some of Disney's most beloved princesses such as Ariel from The Little Mermaid and the title character in Pocahontas. And the animation supervisor for Tangled, he brought to life Rapunzel, the newest Disney princess. So this wave of the dolls, since there's like several waves, like two or three maybe, this is probably like the first wave because obviously Rapunzel's not the most recent princess now because there's been uh, uh, Merida, Princess Anna, and Queen Elsa. So obviously these are kind of old, I'd say. Or either that or they haven't changed the backing. And then it says Walt Disney Animation Studios and Disney Store. So I love the whole like description on the back. So if you guys like to keep your dolls in the boxes, and these are kind of considered collector dolls, then you have a nice really little display to keep them in. So yeah, but obviously I'm not really into that. I like to take my dolls out of the box, so I'll take her out and we'll get a little closer look of the Little Mermaid. Okay, here's the gorgeous, beautiful, adorable Princess Ariel out of the box. And right away I could already tell I need more of these animator dolls in my life and I don't know why I didn't get any more sooner. Okay, so I am... It's like fate that the Disney store was having a sale the other day that I just so happened to be at the mall because I am so glad I finally got one of these animated dolls. They are amazing and I totally want to get another one. My next 
this session would either be Rapunzel or Aurora. So if you want to see like one of those two, vote which one you'd like to see more and whatever gets more votes I'd probably get next. But for now, we obviously have Ariel. So let's take a look at her features. So she can pivot at the head, if I can show you. And it's really good articulation actually. And she can move at the shoulders. It can go 360 and it's pretty easy to move. But obviously not at the elbows or wrists. She can sit down, but it's probably restricted from her tail. And that's about it. So let's take a look at Ariel up close. So she doesn't have a lot of makeup because she's a toddler obviously, but she does have these really pretty teal eyes which are gorgeous and beautifully painted and they're so big and so adorable. And she has a little hint of pink eyeshadow up there just to make them pop a little bit more and they match her pink lips. And I love how sweet and adorable and young looking her face is like a little girl. So cute. And her hair is, of course, her signature infamous red color, and it's the same quality as the Fashion Doll one you can get for like $14.95. And it's pretty nice, and it's really nice and thick, and there's not like any thinning to it, I don't think. And the unfortunate thing about it, though, is that it's really crunchy. Like, the gelled parts in the front are really hard, like, they're not even like able to move, like, they're so hard, but. If you come through them, which I haven't done yet, I'm sure it'll be fine. And of course she is in her mermaid form, form, sorry, not her princess form, like as a human. Which I don't mind. And from what I've heard, you can find outfits for the princesses online. But I'm fine with her as is. So she has this little satin tube top with little scrunched up pieces here to look like her seashell top. And to add a little touch of detail, there's two little purple ribbons hanging down. Super cute. And of course she has little invisible straps here so it stays on better. And her mermaid tail isn't actually like covering her feet 100%. It's a little like mermaid dress, literally. And yeah, it's kind of a mermaid dress and it shows her little feet underneath. And it's green with little glittery scale details. And her gills are up here. And her tail is nice, and there's like little padding inside so it looks more thick. And there's little stitching designs to make it look more realistic and movie accurate. So yeah, that is Ariel. And this is the second wave from what I can understand, because the first wave had fuller hair, like it was really crazy from what I saw in pictures, and it came with a little flounder. And all the ones I saw were like ones that came with little friends, and the only one that I saw I don't know if it's like I wasn't paying attention or not, but the only one I saw that didn't have a friend was Ariel, which is unfortunate. I would have liked her to have a little flounder, but that's okay, that's fine. I can always get a little flounder plushie from the Disney store if I wanted to. But for now, that is Ariel. She's pretty simple, but also really detailed at the same time. And I am so glad that Glenn Keane brought her into our lives, because Ariel is a definite fan favorite from the Disney Princess line. and. Definitely stay tuned for more Ariel reviews because I plan to get some more Ariel dolls for my Little Mermaid collection that I'm going to be starting up. And once I get a little area of my room um, all organized, well once my room's all built because it's still under construction, I will share a video with you guys of what it looks like. But for now, I will see you in the next video. Comment, subscribe, and happy holidays. Bye guys!